Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A retired Air Force colonel turned 18 just four days before the attack on Pearl Harbor. As Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Nick Kiefer show us, he was in an ROTC program at the time and says he did not want to go to fight on the ground. He went on to become a pilot and Thorne Longsworth had a lot of close calls. He vividly remembers the day he was supposed to take an aircraft up for a test flight, but another pilot needed the flying hours. He says the pilot only got about 1200 feet into the air when it blew into a million pieces. He says saboteurs were just one of many threats they had to face in World War II. This is my crew. And since Thorne Longsworth was the youngest on this crew, they nicknamed him Pappy. When I walked through the door, that they were frightened of this kid. This, we're going to war with this kid. <laughs> he looks like he's about 16. He says as the Germans retreated across France, they blew up everything along the way. He says the crew had no running water and no showers for months. They also had no place to stay. My squadron was in a little French village off the off beside the airfield and my crew, the officers in my crew and I lived with the Catholic priest. The crew flew 27 missions in a B-26. The first time somebody shoots at you trying to kill you, it kind of gets, gets your attention. But after a while, you come, you become kind of blase about it, you know. If you're going to get shot, you're going to get shot. He says his crew with the 394th Bomb Group destroyed everything the generals wanted them to. We didn't have a choice. I mean, we were attacked at Pearl Harbor and we had to fight. The young pilot returned to college after the war, but he stayed in the reserves. However, he wouldn't stay out of the cockpit for too long. Although the Korean War was over, Longsworth flew another jet in Japan on a nuclear alert. This is the B-57 Canberra. One and then he night. would go on to fly a B-47 for Strategic Air Command. As he rose in rank, he decided to make a move to maintenance, where he earned a bronze star for his time as Deputy Commander for Maintenance during Vietnam. So I didn't take any guff off of crews. <laughs> what he did take was hardware, even receiving the Thomas P. Garrity Award, an honor given to the person who makes the biggest contribution to aircraft maintenance across the Air Force. It made me feel pretty good. That's the uniform I wore when I retired. He says the highlight of his entire career was his retirement from Strategic Air Command headquarters. We had about uh, 300 people there from all over the Air Force that I had no one. When the colonel decided to finally retire after more than 36 years, those who knew him best gave him a special depiction of him. And they'd bring a briefing in and if I didn't approve it, I'd say, that, that leaves me cold or it gives me a warm feeling. <laughs> Longsworth says he stayed so busy in aircraft maintenance that he never missed flying. One thing he held on to all those years, though, was his call sign, Pappy. Longsworth says the best thing that happened to him in the Air Force was meeting his wife. He says the two got married right after he finished B-47 school here at McConnell. The two have now enjoyed 61 years of marriage. Here for you, Gwen Bethel, KSN News 3. Tonight, we salute Thorne Longsworth for his service in the Air Force. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to be here with Colonel Thorne Longsworth. The Colonel flew 27 successful missions over Europe in his B-26. Thank you, Colonel, for your service. It was a different world then, and I appreciate uh, you people taking this effort to bring it to forth. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.